In this video, we're going to analyze the false Super Saiyan transformation, assessing its characteristics, power, and comparison to the official Super Saiyan transformation, and also delve into the history behind it. So stay tuned to learn more. Kaioshin Karto! Hey there guys, it's Kai Shinkode helping you to expand and enhance your knowledge of Dragon Ball. And on this channel, we do Dragon Ball knowledge videos, Dragon Ball merchandise reviews, and of course, coverage of Dragon Ball Super. So if you're new here, maybe you'd like to subscribe. Now, False Super Saiyan was a form entirely exclusive to Dragon Ball Z Movie 4 entitled Super Saiyan Son Goku. The movie debuted on the 9th of March 1991, only 10 days before the true Toriyama designed Super Saiyan form debuted in chapter 317 of the manga on the 19th of March 1991. The false Super Saiyan form is actually the real Super Saiyan form and not the Kaioken, but it was mostly designed by Toei prior to chapter 317. In the Daisenshu 7 Special Attack Dictionary, it is named as Pseudo or False Super Saiyan, which is Jiji Super Saiyajin in Japanese. There was no name given to the form before Daisenshu 7 was released. Now because of the differences between the two versions of Super Saiyan, the authors of Daisenshu 7 decided to set it apart from Toriyama's Super Saiyan. This is more or less an instance of Toei covering its own mistake by calling it a new form. But it is different enough from any of the other Saiyan forms to have its own entry. It was stated in the Daisenshi 7 Particulars Dictionary that Toriyama was involved in drafting the story for Movie 4, and when asked for ideas on how to portray the transformation, he said for Goku's hair to stand up. The anime staff then took Toriyama's suggestion and made the false Super Saiyan version of Super Saiyan. Meanwhile, Toriyama incorporated this idea into the actual Super Saiyan transformation revealed in Manga Chapter 317 hence the differences. I wonder if Toriyama was annoyed, I mean I certainly would have been. The other differences between the false Super Saiyan and true Super Saiyan form and Toriyama's reasons for them will be included in the next video in this transformations playlist so if you're new here make sure to subscribe and to enable notifications to not miss out on that video. Now the Daisenshu 7 Dragon Ball Large Encyclopedia gave a definition for false Super Saiyan. It says, It's similar to Super Saiyan in that the entire body is wrapped in an aura, but the hair is not completely golden. Also, his eyes become white, as if he had lost consciousness. It looks as if Goku's anger at being cornered by his enemy Slug overran and made him like a Super Saiyan. Goku originally transformed into the false Super Saiyan version of Super Saiyan as Lord Slug struck the final blow at Goku. This was at the point where everything seemed over as Goku in his base was no match for Slug. The writing for the movie was good as it brought about the very desperate situation of not being able to use the Genki Dama until after transforming as Slug laid waste to the earth making it too desolate to harness energy from. We can assume that Goku had been spending lots of time in the gravity room as he said he had been training hard, so he most likely had the battle power acquired to transform into Super Saiyan. After Goku transformed and caught Lord Slug's punch, Goku broke his arm and Slug's hand glowed as a result. This was a nice touch and helped to demonstrate Goku's new power and legendary impact. Unfortunately for false Super Saiyan, Goku couldn't sustain it and regressed into his base upon seeing Lord Slug transform into the giant form. After Gohan's whistling, Slug was weakened, but later after Piccolo gave Goku his power, Goku cut straight through Lord Slug with a non-quoted multiplier Kaioken powered attack. The Kaioken multiplier was later revealed as Kaioken times 100 in the Daisenshu. Now at this point, Lord Slug was almost defeated and Goku killed him with the Genki Dama by harnessing the sun's energy in the atmosphere. King Kai said how Goku had defeated a Super Namekian, stating Goku could be now Super Saiyan. The movie for Super Namekian term was different to the manga definition which was introduced in the Android Saga. In terms of appearance, False Super Saiyan has similarities and differences to the true Super Saiyan form. The most obvious difference is the lack of the golden hair. With False Super Saiyan, the hair remained black but gained dark red highlights in some areas. However, the hair still stood up the same. Another key difference is False Super Saiyan does not seem to provide complete control over its power, with the brute force and anger spurring on the user to keep attacking. I feel this version of Super Saiyan was much closer to the original Super Saiyan legend. Remember the original Super Saiyan perished with his planet as he was unable to control his great power. It also fit the legend more as it served as a temporary power up 
rather than the controlled version we came to see throughout Dragon Ball after movie 4. False Super Saiyan was also different as it had all white, blind rage eyes, which complemented the concept of this version of Super Saiyan being a more rage dependent form. Interestingly, the same sound effect for Kai Ken was used with False Super Saiyan, which really got confusing. It's good that Toei actually changed this for the anime because there would have been much more confusion otherwise. In terms of similarities, both versions of Super Saiyan had a golden coloured aura, a bright golden light appearing upon transforming, a shirtless Goku was both times involved, and both were caused by incredible anger and desperation, both used the same golden key blast, and both showed a muscularity increase. Therefore, all in all, there are some differences and also similarities between the two versions of Super Saiyan, but it just goes to show how ideas can be different between the anime staff and Toriyama himself. Interestingly, there was an animation mistake in episode 195 of Dragon Ball Z where Goku appeared to transform into false Super Saiyan whilst fighting the Ginyu Force in Hell. Of course, this wasn't in the manga, but this always confused me so much as Goku's hair stands straight up but stays black and he has a golden aura but the sound effect is different than his base. However, when you look at the next episode preview from episode 194, looking forward to 195, Goku was clearly meant to transform into Super Saiyan. So this was purely an animation mistake on Toei's part where they forgot to color Goku's hair golden and messed up the sound effect. In terms of power, False Super Saiyan is likely the same times 50 base multiplier as the true Super Saiyan. This is supported by King Kai's statement in the movie where Giant Lord Slug was said to be stronger than Frieza and perhaps even a legendary Super Saiyan apparently. As to which form of Frieza they meant is not actually clear, but that's a topic for another video. We don't know for sure which form of Frieza they were referring to, but it was most likely his final form due to the timing of the manga where Goku had been at battle with final form Frieza for many chapters. Therefore, the times 50 multiplier seemed logical if they were referring to Frieza's final form, but if it was his earlier forms, false Super Saiyan could have been between Goku's Kai Ken times 20 and Super Saiyan's times 50 multiplier. False Super Saiyan also seemed less stable and harder to power up into as Goku regressed and subsequently didn't retransform when Lord Slug revealed his true power. This showed it's most likely triggered by rage rather than at will and can't be controlled to a large extent, but this is more consistent with the original Super Saiyan legend. I think False Super Saiyan is really cool. I want to hear your thoughts guys. What do you think of the transformation? Let me know down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching this video and if you got value out of it, please Kaioken that like button and definitely subscribe to expand and enhance your knowledge of Dragon Ball as well as get coverage of Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball merchandise reviews. Until next time, you can watch the following videos of mine and we'll see you soon.